old's your daughter? She's nine. You think she's okay? I, I mean, in situations like this, would, would they actually hurt a little kid? No. It's just a bluff. <laughs> Shouldn't we be trying to contact your wife? She died of leukemia three years ago. Please, let's just be quiet now. No one can hear you, Brad. They just said that to scare you. It worked. <laughs> so why do you think these guys picked you and your daughter? I have no idea. Because just grabbing a guy off the street is pretty rare. Are there a lot of Russians in your neighborhood? I've never known them to be anything but decent. Do you keep a pretty set routine, like, uh, like when you walk your daughter to school? Same thing. You pass in a place you consider sketchy, like uh, where guys like this might hang out? No, no. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm... What kind of work do you do? Uh, I own the country kitchen over on 10th Street. Diner. You know it? Been buying. A lot of Russians come into the restaurant? Sure. You got a problem with any of them? No. <laughs> they said pick a woman. I never would have come near you if I knew you were pregnant. Don't worry about that, Brad. Let's just keep thinking here. What kind of coward puts a pregnant woman in danger? Guy looking out for his kid. All right. I should have, should have stopped them on the street. I should have, I should have fought harder. Take it easy, Brad. What did I do? Brad, I... what's done is done. You can't get worked up. <laughs> Can we get a ballistic shield around her? Won't do any good. The guy's got five pounds of C4 on him. Me? <sighs> they want to know why Ilya hasn't been released yet. And said, if you underestimate them, you're making a huge mistake. Why don't you just let them go? I don't understand why you can't do that. If it comes down to that, they will. Okay, Brad, just take it easy. Boss, what about letting the Russian walk out of here? We are going to do it this morning anyway. I floated that to Chief Clifford 10 minutes ago. They won't negotiate. I'm sorry. 